Right now, one of your officers is breaking Arkansas state law as we speak. Would you be willing to look into that? And yeah, they dispatch has advised me that you said that, and I don't know what law you're referring to. I got it right here if you but want to I'll look into you, it. Uh, and, yeah. and it sounds like you guys aren't even aware that it's against the law and that you probably do it pretty consistently. And mostly they just do it because they're lazy because they don't. Gotcha. So you don't you don't know who's in car 108. So if you were to dispatch to 108, you wouldn't know who was in that car. Yeah, the, the officer went on the medical call with the chief. And who's that officer? <laughs> well, I mean, you could just answer my question, and I'll sit back down. I don't see. It's not funny. Yeah, man. I'm just wondering if uh, Bill Police Department seen the video out on YouTube. Oh yeah, it's hit all of our Facebook and everywhere. We've seen it. Oh yeah, we've we've had a lot of customs down here over. Welcome back. So last week we watched a video of a random patriot by the name of Mike Roberts attempt to report a robbery by who he believes is one of his employees and a tenant of his. The cop that shows up, Officer Stokes, doesn't want to make a report and instead decides to arrest Mike for disorderly conduct for raising his voice on his own property. We're going to watch a little recap and then I'm going to show you my interaction with the Boonville PD and their chief Ben Villarreal and a phone call that Mike makes to the chief about my first video. Here we go. What did I do? You tased me, you tased me and I'll have a lawsuit from hell. I'll have a lawsuit from hell. You're on my property, you're on my property. You're on my property. For what? For what? You're gonna tase me for disorderly conduct? For raising my voice, Turn, you're under arrest. You're going to tase me for raising my voice. Turn around. Nice. Tase me right. for raising my voice. Yes, I I, let me get this right on camera. You're going to tase me for raising my voice. No. Turn around. No. Turn around. No. Turn around. God damn it. My. You tased me. I was a million dollars off. No. No. For what? For what? What did I do this morning? What did I do this morning? You have to tell me what I did this morning. I already told you. For raising my voice. No. 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 You're on my property. You're on my property. Arrest me for raising my voice. That is not disorderly conduct. Man, the cops giving him chance after chance after chance. I wouldn't record this. Huh? I wouldn't record it because Mike would be in trouble. I know. Well, that's what he wants. God damn it. I show up and knock on Richard's door and he come out and I asked him if he's been in my shop and he says no, you know. I said, I know you have, there's a bunch of stuff gone. You know, I didn't realize at the time how much was gone. Mm. It was a felony robbery. Robbery. He said, I didn't steal nothing from you. I didn't steal nothing from you and was starting to get cocky with me. And I said, I'll just call the cops. You know what I'm saying? I ain't arguing with you, I'll call the cops. Well, I didn't steal nothing from you. You don't need to be calling the cops. You don't be needing to call the cops. I said, yeah, I want to call the cops. That's what I need to do. So I called the cops and called it in as a robbery. And the cops showed up a few minutes later. And like I said, I was parked over there. And he pulled up here and parked. And we were standing out in the front yard. I told him the whole situation. He said, well, I need to come down to the police station to fill out a report. I said, you're standing right there in the yard. You're not going to get out and ask any questions? You're not going to do nothing? He said, no, that's not the way we do it anymore. you got to come down to the police station and fill out a report. I said, no, you need to get out of your car and do your job. He said, no, you can't tell me what to do. I said, yeah, I can. I said, you work for me. He said, no, I don't work for you. I said, yeah, you do. I'm a taxpayer, and you're a police officer. We're getting paid by tax duck money. You work for me, and I did. At that point, I was mad because he wouldn't even get out of his car. Yeah. I did say, I'd, I'd, I'll show you about how loud. The car was parked there, and I was probably right here. It just pulled off the sideways. And I said, uh, after getting frustrated with him, I said, Get out of your car! Do your damn job! At about that loud, at 9.30 in the morning. All right. You know, that's nothing to that be arrested for. Nothing. That's unconstitutional and unright. Yeah. He wouldn't have done his dad that way, and he wouldn't have done his mom that way. And if it's a city council member, he wouldn't have done them that way. But since it's just me, and I told him to get out of his car and do his job, 
he was pissed and he by god i was going to do what he said when i said it no questions asked yeah he bruised his ego yep. no one talks to him like that right exactly so now this man is out all of his material and tools from his business that were stolen initially he's tased he's in jail he's out his bail money he's out any lawyer fees and court fees his house is gone and before it got burned at the ground they lived in it for free 10 months so this dude just lost so much and the police in Boonville are still adamant about charging files on him and him being in the wrong here he's the bad guy in this situation how dare you went to our local court and they found me immediately guilty so I appealed it to a jury trial and this is when it was pushed back and pushed back and pushed back for over two years because they, they don't want it to go to a jury trial. It still ain't going to trial. It goes to the trial next month. I've been stomped on by the cop, tased by the cop, handcuffed, right down here in the interrogation room. Crack it. If a crackhead was there and I said, hey, crackhead, you're under arrest. I'm going to get you under arrest. I'm not going to wait for everybody to get there. I'm going to take you into custody. Just because you're an outstanding citizen doesn't mean that he's going to treat you any different. I, I'm taking you to jail for having gray hair. Put your hands behind your back. And you start resisting, that's not an offense to resist. You, you are still resisting. You can still be charged with resisting. If I, if I arrest you for some bullshit, I would like your gray hair, you're going to jail. You cannot resist that arrest. I'll resist it every damn time. There's another camera right there. Let me see if they got cameras in their cars. I actually don't see any dash cams still. How crazy. How crazy. They got a, a thing for their phone. They don't have dash cams? That's Boonville for you. Boonville, Arkansas. One of the most corrupt towns I've ever experienced. I could tell you stories. Hey, sir. What's up, man? Hey, so what, what were you want? I need to make some FOIA requests. Okay, all right, so if you want, you can go fill one out. We don't have any forms here at the police department. What do you, I'll take a blank piece of paper or two. Okay. Yeah, or okay. three, actually, if you don't care. Yeah. Do you know sure. what you're trying to FOIA? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. you <clears throat> All right. Let's review this. Requesting date that surveillance cameras were installed in Boonville Police Department. All rooms that cameras were installed in, uh, the lobby, interrogation room, etc. Date that dash cams were installed in Boonville PD cruisers, vehicles. How many cameras and which vehicles are they in? Because also, when this happened, there wasn't any. And actually, to this day, the two I looked in do not have a dash cam. If you don't have dash cams in 2023, why? Date Boonville PD started using body cams. How many? Who has them? Which officers? If you don't have body cams in 2023, why? How many vehicles does Boonville PD use? Are there any not being used that could be sold for dash cams and body cams? Please send info to the Random Patriot. Any and all documents, emails, phone calls, radio traffic, video recordings, audio recordings, transcripts, written warnings, citations, etc. in relation to Mike Roberts. Boonville PD protocol on when to use physical force on a citizen, plus protocol on when to use a taser on a citizen. Boonville, Arkansas statute on disturbing the peace or breach of peace. Does Boonville allow citizens to redress their government? What is the First Amendment of the United States Constitution? I'm going to make them do some homework. Please explain Boonville Police Department's limit on free speech. When is it a crime according to BPD? Does Boonville PD allow citizens to file police reports anywhere besides the police department. Can a citizen file or make a police report on scene or at their home? If not, why not? Any discipline for Officer Stokes? Officer Stokes' salary and dates of employment. All cruisers Stokes has been assigned to. Does he have a body cam? 
I'm gonna add a uh, Cobb in there, Officer Cobb. What up? Appreciate you, man. Um, I put an email on there, or I can come pick up a flash drive. Uh, either way, you can contact me on that email. Okay, I'll hand this over to mine. Cool. One second. Yep. Or just put your initial at the bottom and then make a copy for me. Just uh, some kind of proof that it was received. Yeah. And then if you have a card too, that'd be cool. And what? If you have a card. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Do you have a card? Like a, I do not, but my chief has got one right there. Do you want to take that one right there? Uh, what's your name then? I'm Sergeant Chapelford. Gotcha. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Cool. Yes, sir. Have a good one. Well, hey, 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 man. Hey, Sergeant. Could I get you to sign all these? Yeah, one second. I'm going to make a phone call real quick just to make sure I'm not doing anything I'm not supposed to do, and then I'll get back to you. Okay? Uh, what do you mean? Huh? What do you mean by that? Okay. <clears throat> it's land of the free. Unless you raise your voice and hurt a police officer's feelings, then he's going to tase you and put charges on you and not help you in any way, which was the reason he was called out there. So it's land of the free unless you are brave. All right, man. You got yours? Yeah. So, all sign that I received them, okay, I'll talk to my supervisor, they're going to be the ones that take over this. Yeah. Okay. yeah. A lot of this stuff I cannot answer, just because. Yeah, it usually gets passed on to the city attorney or something anyway, yeah. so. So, I'm just talking on behalf of Bumble PD and that we did receive these That's for you, okay? Perfect, that's all I needed, yeah. Just proof that someone got it. Yeah. I'm not holding you personally to this or anything, I just wanted to. I understand. No body cams? No dash no, cams? No, no, as long as I've been here, we haven't had any. Any talk about getting them? Uh, there's been rumblings. Personally, I wouldn't mind having them. But, uh, it saves your ass just as much as everyone yeah, else. It's, it's good for good for kind of showing what's actually going on. Yeah. Dealing yeah. with stuff. But uh, if that's all you need, man. That's it. Thanks, right. buddy. Yep. Take it easy. You too. Hey, let me get this going here. I'm supposed to pick up a FOIA request. It was on a flash drive. Okay. Justin? Yeah. And then Mr. Ben said he would even speak with me. I don't know if he was here right now. He's not. He's out on a call. Okay. Um, would you mind telling him that I'm here and I'll hang out? I will. He's on a medical call right now, so it might be a few minutes before I can get a hold of him. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Vehicle number 108 out here. Do you know who is in charge of that vehicle? Well, the chief's in charge of all the vehicles. Well, who is who has the keys to that right now? Because it's out there just running for no reason. I'm sorry? It's out there running for no reason. Okay, I don't know why it's running. I don't know if the officer had a reason or not. But you can speak to the chief when he comes back about it. Okay. Yeah, it's against Arkansas state law, just so you know that. Okay. Right. And mostly they just do it because they're lazy because they don't... Gotcha. So you don't you don't know who's in car 108. So if you were to dispatch to 108, you wouldn't know who was in that car. Yeah, the, the officer went on the medical call with the chief. And who's that officer? <laughs> well, I mean, you could just answer my question, and I'll sit back down. I don't see. It's not funny. It's officer You're, Pence is vehicle. Officer uh, Pence. P e n n s or. P e n c e. Thank you. Just showing this car is out here running for no reason. I don't know why they always do that. That window is pretty dark. They're just all about leaving their their cars running all day, so we can pay for it. Want to wait? Notice how this one isn't running. Dude just pulled up. None of the other ones are running. This one's just been running for 
Who knows how long. In my FOIA request, I ask why they don't have dash cams or body cams, and they say because they don't have the funding. Well, I bet you if they didn't leave their cars running all day, they could afford a couple. <clears throat> nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I appreciate you meeting with me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, this is my first time doing anything like this. I don't expect anything too fancy. I just wanted to ask you a couple questions. I'm doing a story on um, what happened to Mr. Michael, obviously. I know you were here when all that happened. Um, so I guess the main question just to kind of get into it is, do you think that it was, do you think that the red, that the arrest was, that it should have happened? Or do you think that it should have happened another way? Um, at this time, because we have a pending case, it's going to be a jury trial. Yeah. I'm not going to make any comments on that because we need to keep our jury open-minded. Gotcha. Okay, so I don't want a video that you post out there to influence the jury and persuading the way that I see it. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Until until after that, if you want to come back after the jury trial, then I'll gladly discuss That's anything with you. Okay. I can give you the report. You can awesome. it, make your okay. opinion. You know. Okay. Uh, that's next. That is next month that the trial is. I know it's set for pre-trial on October sixth. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So that's it's like the a couple date, weeks. Yeah. Uh, and then hopefully it's set for jury trial so we can, can get gotcha. that case taken care of. Okay. okay. All right, well, well, without asking specifics, and I won't take up too much of your time or anything, but do you think that de escalation should always be the number one factor when, in pretty much any situation? I mean, it's, it's within our use of force criterion. I mean, we always try to de escalate. De escalate first before yes. yeah, you have, escalating you have, to the next level. Yes. Okay, so you wouldn't disagree with that. Um, do you think that? Do you guys usually give warnings? Are you pretty good about giving warnings around here? Or? Well, I'd say so. Yeah, you know, like I say, it's it's within the use of force. Right. You know, we don't ever escalate to the top of use of force unless we have to. You know, there's there's officers command presence as the first step. Uh, verbal commands. You know, there's there's all kinds of things that follow there within the use of force criteria. Gotcha. Trying to think of how to ask questions without being too specific. Yeah. Um, do you think that all laws need to be so? Like, let's say someone's breaking a law, like jaywalking or something. Do you think that they need to be at least given a warning, or do you just kind of let little stuff go by? Depends. Situational. You know, I'd say. Okay. On the safe side of things, it's all situational. You know. Gotcha. A, a jaywalker? Do they walk out front directly in front of a car that they almost got hit and could it? You know, could have caused that vehicle to cause an accident, or is Jay walking two o'clock in the morning and there's no one present? They just cross the street. I mean, right. that's situational. That's a bad example, but that's a good answer. And it, and it, I, I understand. Yeah, and officers that. have discretion yeah. like that. That's an officer's yeah. discretion. You know. Okay. Okay, that's understandable. Um, do you think so? Right now, one of your officers is breaking Arkansas state law as we speak. Would you be willing to look into that and? Yeah, they dispatch has advised me that you said that, and I don't know what law you're referring to. So what the? So he is willing to stand behind a crime so petty of a citizen talking too loud on his own property and call it disturbing the peace or disorderly conduct, but he's not willing to admit when his officers commit a crime just as petty, or in my opinion, way less petty. Because this crime actually has victims, the taxpayers, who are paying all this money for gas money instead of body cams or dash cams because the Boonville PD doesn't want to follow Arkansas state law and thinks they're exempt and thinks they don't have to follow the law. But don't you dare raise your voice around here or you're going to jail. I got it right here if you well, want to listen to it. Uh... Law enforcement vehicles. They're not are, exempt. I've already been through this with other departments. Let me explain myself. Yes, sir. Sorry. Law enforcement vehicles are equipped with radios, yep. sound controls, flashlight chargers, all things that drain the battery. The vehicles at some point are going to have to be able to sit and recharge themselves. They, a lot of times when an officer is just coming into the building and running right back out, there's well, no point in leaving that vehicle and you know, the, shutting that vehicle off and that would be a small thing so like back to the whole jaywalking thing if they're running in and out 
That's like walk, that's like crossing a small street at 2 a.m. Who cares, right? But if he's literally leaving the whole premises and coming back, who knows when? Because he's on a call and it's just out there running. And well, you, normally, normally he would be in that vehicle going to the call. Well, he so wasn't, you want, you want so it should be shut off. Yeah. And, I'm, and it sounds like you guys aren't even aware that it's against the law and that you probably do it pretty consistently. And so, so it's probably a good reason why you can't afford body cams or dash cams because how much of our tax dollars are going towards just letting your cars running. And I've already been through exactly your excuse that you just said. This is, I got laptops and chargers and stuff. I've been through this with much bigger departments and been proven right that they are not allowed to do that. And they've, and they've actually had to stop doing it. Okay. Well, I would agree with this. So on the, the side of the road, when an officer's at a traffic stop, he's going to have to leave his vehicle so running. That's a, that's emergency a, lights are not going to operate unless the vehicle That's not running. unattended. That's not unattended. Mm -hmm. he's, he's out there with it. So if I leave, like for example, he literally left this whole police department. That's unattended. In an emergency situation. That's unattended. Know. Now, me being out there or like if I'm parked at a parking lot and it's running and I'm standing there or you're at a call and you're standing there, that's not unattended. I'm standing there with it. Yeah, and that. You're, not, you're entitled to your opinion. That's not even my opinion, dude. It's Arkansas Code 2751 and there's no police exemptions unless okay. they're under a traffic stop right. or an emergency. I have looked into this, I promise. I'm not just, you know. So, is that something that you would look into and have them stop doing, or are you just gonna carelessly do that? Okay, thank you, appreciate that. That's all I was getting at. I appreciate it. Um, really, without getting into details, I don't think I have any more questions off the bat. Most things you answered in the FOIA request, I was reading through a minute ago. So. And if there's anything that's not in there, just reach back out to me. I think I've covered everything for you. Okay. Um, um, you know, anything, anything else you Appreciate it. Just, just back up to Definitely. Is that Officer Pence right there? No. That wasn't him? I was just wondering if that thing's still running or not. Oh no, he's, see, his isn't running. His is, his is off. When he pulled up, he shut it right off. So why is his running out there and he's not even on the premises? You know? He can come in and turn something in and he jumped in. Like I said, emergency situation, he jumped in to be the handle of call. It happens, you know. I'm not looking to file complaints or anything like that. I just want to bring it to your attention. All right, man. Have a good day. All right, thanks for meeting with me, okay. dude. I appreciate you. Thanks for shutting that off, man. Well, I had to hit up the post office while I was here. There it is. It's Days in. Hello. Uh, hey. Um, what kind Julian of stamps you got? Are um, I got flowers, flags. Julian, Can I see your flags? I might have. Oh, I'll take some of them. Okay, just some of those. Yeah. Or uh, do you have any that are already split up? So I don't, I don't have to, like, I'll need like no, five. No, all I have is a book okay. of the flags. What is it, like nine bucks or I'll something? Wait. And they're 13 20 North Carolina. Um, well, I'll just take a book. Uh -huh. Fine. Thirteen twenty. Six eighty. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, are you videoing? Mm-hmm. You can't video here in the post office. I sure can. You can? Yeah, for sure. Okay. <clears throat> I, I promise I can. Yeah, I'll okay. take it. Yeah. I'm not gonna point it at her or nothing like that. But Okay, it's asking on the screen, has anything look with fragile perishable potentially hazardous such as lithium batteries for you to put your address here and where and where it's going there. Oh, jeez, I just gave you that. Seven, eight, nine, oh. Okay, so it's for me. So, you guys got a typo on here. Have you seen it? It's, no. I mean, I'm just being silly, but there really is one. Uh, H-O-N-E instead of H-O-M-E. You're still in home with an N. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> been here so long. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you don't even look at it. Yeah, I'm looking at everything as well. Yeah. 
You guys have a good one. You Thanks. Too. Thanks. Hello, Ben. Yeah, Ben. I just wondering if uh, Bill will place apartment seeing the video out on YouTube. Oh yeah, it's hit all of our Facebook and everywhere. We've seen it. Okay, I just wonder. I just it looks like there's been about thirty thousand people look at it. I, I've had about I've had about thirty calls on it. Oh yeah, we've we've had a lot of customers down here over. So I just wondering what y'all had to what y'all had to say about it. I don't have anything to say about it. I mean, it's, it's your right if you want to do that. We've got a pending court case. Yep. I just think everybody all need to need to know over everything up front, and it's my right to say it. Well, yeah, but when your videos lie, that's not correct. There's nothing lying. There's not a lie on the video. Oh yeah, there is. You saying that we have continued this court case, and when your attorney and you yourself have continued the court case, that's it's, all lies. It's been continued by the by the by y'all too. So real quick, I just wanted to point out that Officer Trey Stokes does not have a different story than Mike Roberts. He even says, after speaking with Mike for a short time, Mike became irate. Mike started to yell and curse at myself. I then advised Mike he was under arrest for disorderly conduct. Trey Stokes, the arresting officer, resigned shortly after in 2022 for unknown reasons. The officer that Mike spoke with in the police department lobby, Officer Bryce Cobb, was actually terminated in 2022 for violation of Boonville Police Department policy and procedure, Chapter 6, Search and Seizure Residence, failure to establish probable cause to search a residence based on arrest warrant, failure to notify a supervisor of an organized dynamic entry, previous counseling report. 